Hello, this is Bob again. Just following to the next poem, which is The Velvet Man. Now, this one I remember specifically because this is one of my key pieces. Originally, this was going to be a short story. In fact, maybe even a series of short stories, but mm, didn't go that way. Instead, it is a nice short poem. And yeah, that's all there is to it. That was my little first attempt at a horror theme sort of piece of creative work, so I hope you enjoy. Through the streets of neon crimson he wanders, through the alleyways and filth-ridden hobbles he waits, for the pervading mist of lustful desire and sleaze he watches. His body as tall as a lamppost, eyes as black as silk, a face as worn as time itself, fingers like spider legs that creep and crawl, his presence elusive until the very end, the moment you're most vulnerable in a city of sin. The last thing you see is the blood-stained velvet grasping your throat and the life leaving you as you fall to the curb. For he is the Velvet Man, and in the cities where vice and sin rule, you are his prey.